So I want to look at one more type of movement before we start looking at other additions that we can make to this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my player that I've already got. I'm going to edit this once more. I'm going to edit the behaviors. I'm going to delete the eight direction behavior or the tile set one if you've got that from the last video on. I'm going to add a brand new one. And this one we're going to add is called car. And this allows our object to move like a car. So if you're making a car based game or a vehicle based game, it's a really good behavior to have. But we'll apply it to our object for now and you'll get the idea of how this works. So let's first look at the properties that come with this. So we've got stuff like max speed, acceleration, deacceleration, how fast we can steer, drift, our friction with the ground. We can have it set angles and if it's enabled. So let's run this and see what this is like. So very similar to eight directions that we've had before. The big difference is we're now bouncing off the walls. And we don't move straight away. Instead, we build up speed. And also, we can move backwards without turning. And once we've built up speed, if we let go of the accelerator now, so I'm not holding any buttons, we'll slow down to a natural stop. So there's a very, very unique and interesting type that we can use. Again, works best for vehicles. Now, one issue you might have spotted is when we hit off walls, we're hitting off walls really, really early. So if I just show you once more. And I'm hitting off a wall now. So this is me hitting off a wall, but you'll see I'm nowhere near the wall. So we're just going to do a slight hitbox change. So we're going to click edit. And we want to edit the hitbox. So we go down to this tool down here. And currently our hitbox is a square. We're not a square, we're a circle. So how do we do that? So we can't get a circle in construct but what we can do is we can create something a bit closer so every time we click we can get a new polygon and again we're not trying to create a perfect circle perfect circles don't exist we can't do that in computers so instead we're just going to get as close as we can like so so it's a bit more of a, a hexagon or an octagon press escape and let's run it once more. So now the solid behavior will now use this new hitbox. So you'll see that we're able to get right up against the wall before we crash. So we can get right into this corner now. So that's another useful behavior that you can use in your game design if you want a more vehicle based program. The car one is a very, very useful one to look at.